Today's conversation focuses on two major developments. Plug Power's record-breaking month at its Georgia Green Hydrogen Facility and the world-first launch of hydrogen-powered artificial intelligence supercomputing by Lambda and ECL. We'll break down what these accomplishments really mean for the hydrogen sector, at home and globally, and dig into the economic realities, market risks, and why this transition is finally moving from theory to practice. All this on today's Hydrogen Podcast. Plug Power's Green Hydrogen Facility in Georgia just had its strongest month on record, producing a remarkable 324 metric tons of green hydrogen in August alone supported by 97% operational uptime and 99.7% availability. The backbone of this achievement is Plug's Gen Eco Proton Exchange Membrane Electrolyzer Technology, which is now validated at genuine commercial scale. This represents more than a technical milestone. Plug isn't just building pilots or test beds anymore. This is full-scale, 24-7 hydrogen production supplying hydrogen to some of the largest logistics and retail chains in America, including Walmart, Amazon, and Home Depot. Operationally, the Georgia plant is designed for a nameplate capacity of 15 tons per day. Achieving 324 metric tons in a month puts the facility right on target, with output equating to an average of over 10 tons per day. Such strong continuous production is fundamental not only to plug strong growth, but to transforming how the U.S. sources and delivers hydrogen as a domestic reliable decarbonized fuel. The site's performance is an important benchmark, especially for investors, policymakers, and downstream customers watching for tangible proof that hydrogen can scale with reliability. But let's not sugarcoat the economics. At the current market price, which can fluctuate between $4 and $12 per kilogram, 324 metric tons equates to a midpoint monthly revenue of roughly $2.6 million, or $31.2 million annually. Against Plug's existing $673 million in annual revenue, this single facility is not yet a needle mover. The financial community reacted in real time. Following the announcement of the production record, Plug's stock soared 19% in morning trading, only to slide back nearly to its starting position by afternoon as reality about overall profits and losses set in. Plug remains under pressure, posting close to $2 billion in annual losses and facing a $3 billion market cap. Clear reminders that operational records must translate to margin expansion and sustainable profitability to satisfy Wall Street's hunger for more than just growth. Plug's narrative is buoyed, however, by its growing network. Sites in Tennessee and Louisiana, combined with Georgia, now represent a total U.S. daily production capacity of 40 metric tons of liquid hydrogen. These volumes support not just massive end users, but a broader hydrogen ecosystem, from industrial clients to future mobility and clean energy markets. Plug's future-facing strategy is also to leverage this operational excellence to drive cost reductions, targeting $150 to $200 million in annual savings and a break into positive EBITDA by 2026, followed by net profitability by 2028. Their partnerships, including $200 million in European backlog, demonstrate ambition to secure global leadership as both hydrogen producer and technological supplier. And now over to segment two, which is Hydrogen Power's next-gen AI, Lambda and ECL's breakthrough supercomputing facility. On the cutting edge of digital innovation, Lambda and ECL have delivered a true world first, the launch of a hydrogen-powered NVIDIA GB300 NVL72 supercomputing system in Mountain View, California. This isn't just a flex for the hydrogen economy, it's a proof of concept that fundamentally reimagines how data centers can be built and operated in an era of exponential AI growth and climate imperatives. At the heart of the project are hydrogen fuel cells, powering AI systems that generate 142 kilowatts of sustained compute sufficient to handle bleeding-edge foundational model training, normally requiring immense and stable grid resources. What sets this installation apart is its ability to operate off-grid, turning hydrogen into both energy and water. The byproduct water feeds directly into high-efficiency, direct-to-chip liquid cooling infrastructure, meaning the entire system is net water positive. This is especially crucial for data center deployment in drought-prone regions like the U.S. Southwest and parts of Europe where water limitations often stall digital expansion. Lambda's hydrogen initiative also answers a scaling crisis for AI. Projected U.S. electricity demand from AI in data centers is expected to skyrocket, 
potentially overwhelming grids by 2030. Hydrogen-powered data centers remove this bottleneck, making high-performance compute possible even in regions without robust infrastructure. The pilot's modular design allowed the entire system to be integrated within two hours, demonstrating a pathway to mass deployment and rapid AI infrastructure growth. The climate goals are not lost here. These systems operate with zero operational emissions, creating opportunities for regulators and sustainability-oriented investors to back digital transitions without exacerbating pollution or resource depletion. Financially, Hydrogen's application in the data center market is a doable win. It opens new, stable offtake markets for hydrogen producers like Plug and its peers, while allowing tech and enterprise companies to accelerate, diversify, and de-risk their AI and digital environments. In effect, Hydrogen now bridges energy, compute, and water resilience, transformative for both developed and developing global economies. And so what is the global impact? How are these trends pushing hydrogen into the mainstream? Well, Plug Power's commercial-scale hydrogen production, paired with Lambda's AI supercomputing innovation, marks a major inflection point for the global hydrogen economy. The transition from pilot to operational resiliency changes the narrative. Hydrogen is now demonstrating reliable, scalable impact for both traditional industry and new digital frontiers. Combined, these stories highlight that the market is now moving beyond early government subsidy-led demand. Plug's results validate that integrated hydrogen ecosystems can supply multinational clients and maintain industrial performance standards, even as they hash out margin discipline and supply chain excellence. Meanwhile, Lambda's hydrogen-fueled data centers offer the first credible template for new high-tech offtake, making hydrogen relevant not only for heavy-duty transport and industry, but as a core enabler of digital economies in North America, Europe, and anywhere needing power or water security. Momentum is further enhanced by a rapidly growing addressable market. The hydrogen sector is anticipated to triple in value from its $200 billion market cap in 2023 to approach or exceed $600 billion by 2030, as advances like these unlock adjacent industry verticals and cross-sector integrations. In Europe, such milestones will likely spur faster legislative and infrastructure action, both for mobility and clean tech-driven digital expansion. And so with that said, what are the challenges, risks, and the road ahead? It would be misguided to declare unilateral victory. Plug's Georgia achievement is tempered by persistent financial pressure. Annual losses and heavy capital requirements still loom over the sector. Beyond profitability, the reliability of hydrogen distribution and fueling infrastructure faces substantial scrutiny. Downtime, supply interruptions, and real-world operational hiccups remain hurdles to mass digital and industrial adoption. The Lambda and ECL data center launch, while transformative, represents an early proof point, not yet a fleet scale or ubiquitous deployment. For hydrogen to move from premium niche applications to everyday backbone technology, it will require stronger balance sheets, broader infrastructure, regulatory coordination, and persistent innovation in cost and reliability. Competitive pressure from both battery electric sector and alternative energy, including traditional grid upgrades, will be intense and achieving post parity in a kilowatt hour basis remains the next frontier for commercial success, especially in price sensitive markets. That said, the expanding base of offtake industries and operationally validated high volume plants make it nearly impossible for policymakers and investors to ignore hydrogen's growing scale in a diversified, resilient energy and industrial economy. Plug Power's commercial breakthrough in Georgia and Lambda's hydrogen powered supercomputing debut illustrate the arc of a maturing industry, one where reliability, value, and new market entries are as meaningful as scale. For the hydrogen sector to truly deliver on its promise, it must keep pushing operational discipline, diversify offtake, and stay creative about the economic and technical hurdles that remain. As these stories prove, the sector is finally crossing the chasm from pilot project to practical transformative infrastructure. All right, that's it for me, everyone. If you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a good review on whatever platform it is that you listen to. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, YouTube, whatever it is. That would be a tremendous help to the show. And as always, if you ever have any feedback, you're welcome to email me directly at info at the So until next time, keep your eyes up and honor one another.